Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm recording on my new phone, which has an awesome camera. So hopefully the quality will be better in this video. Um, I'm going to do a bins haul. I've got a ton of stuff here. So again, I'm going to move kind of quick. I went yesterday. I spent $100. And I was going to try to get the receipt for you guys. Is this the one? Yep. That was lucky. I have... 59 pounds of clothing <laughs> and six pounds was a blanket that I got um, which I'm super excited about so lots and lots of clothing it was hundred and one dollars or something like that yeah hundred and one twelve so let's get started all right basic first this is Express because it's at the bins it's like brand new and it's textured graphic tee it's a men's size large. This is Tsunami, which is not something I would normally pick up. I've looked it up before and it's not like the greatest brand, but the style of this, it's like a button up cardigan, but it's got this, these horses on the back of it running. Um, it's like a Aztec -y type print two down here. So that's why I grabbed that. I think that'll sell for probably around 28, 30, maybe. I haven't looked anything up yet. Everything's in its raw form. I literally just brought it out of my car from yesterday. This is just a basic J crew polo shirt. Again, it's like brand new. If you see any stains, I'll find them when I put them on the mannequin. I looked them over at the bins, but it seems like no matter what you do, you get home and there's still some that have stains. So this is Eddie Bauer thick, nice flannel, long sleeve, button up shirt, size large, men's. This type of thing has been selling really well for me lately um, with fall and winter coming. This is J. Jill denim and it's a button up shirt. Very basic chambray shirt. Oh, it isn't full button. It's just like a Henley. Um, and that is a size medium women's. Ooh, I was excited about these. These are Pendleton wool pants. Very exciting. Very exciting. I haven't comped them yet, but I'm sure that they will sell for a very decent price. These, <laughs> I couldn't find anything on the brand, and the tag is, it's like a vintage tag, actually. Like, you could tell, I could tell the vintage tags just by touching them, but, I mean, it's all the way worn off. It's called Rainbow. These, I just, I could not leave them behind. They're, like, not quite overalls checkered <laughs> uh, high-rise pants, I would call them. I don't know. I mean, maybe they be considered overalls, but they don't go up all the way. They're just like high-rise pants that are held on with these straps. I don't know what the name of these would be, but I'm going to do a little more research on those. This is Torrid, wonderful brand size three and it's a velvet paisley print uh, I don't know how it closes oh it's just an open cardigan type thing velour and velvet is in right now and torrid is a great brand with a great sell through rate so this is columbia omnishade button up shirt in like brand new condition Again, I think Tuesdays are going to be the day that I go to the bins because that's when um, it seems kind of quiet there and I get good stuff. Here is that blanket. You're going to hear some kids in the background maybe. Um, here is the blanket that I'm super excited about. I saw this. I thought it was like a jacket, so of course I grabbed it. And it's a blanket. It's like the cabin style print. And it is wool 
Let me find the tag. Where'd it go? Right here. It is a Woolrich cabin blanket. You guys can go through if you want. Just go through. Are we just going to cut it out? No. I'll just leave it on there. I'm a work at home mom. Just don't be screaming or anything, please. <laughs> That was my most exciting find, and I really, I'm really considering, um, sorry, they're still in their jammies. We homeschool, too. <laughs> um, really considering keeping that. This, I don't typically pick up this brand, but I have sold shorts in this brand before, and they sold really quick if they were the right style. This is Forever 21, but these are so cute. If these were my size, I'd wear them. Stonewashed, distressed, cut-off type shorts, and they've got this really cute pattern in like the pockets too, this boho type pattern. All right, had to pause for a minute because of the kids running through. Oh, these are for my kids. Show them to you real quick. Oh, they're just like the cheap brand Jordan sweatpants. My boys love sweatpants. They're not a huge fan of jeans, so. This is a vintage brand, I think. Maybe not. Anyway, it's Carol Reed. And it's all wool, size 10. It's a button-up type cardigan. It looks like it's a crop, actually. It's pretty short. I'll have to measure it and figure that out. Hello. This is one of my favorite finds, too. It's like a waffle knit sweater with a high-low hem and a turtleneck. Might be a mock neck. I don't know what I'll call it. And it is made well. It is an extra small, but it is made out of wool, alpaca, and nylon. This is a pair of FedEx uniform pants. And these actually have a really good sell through rate on eBay. Um, they sell for, I think it was about 30 bucks. Oh, this is more stuff for my kids. It's Tommy Hilfiger. Pretty cool little pair of sweatpants there. These are, and this one I think did have a stain that I was going to try to get out because I thought it was worth it. Athleta pants, and it's made out of Lyocell and Cupro. I've never even heard of that um, material. But they're very, I don't know how to explain this material. It almost feels like, like a silk material. Um... They're like a silvery color almost, so I know I saw a little stain on those in the store that I'm going to try to get out. These are a pair of Columbia pants, size large. I think these are women's. Um, they're the convertible ones that zip off. I always put the title like fishing, hiking, um, and the title for these things. This needs some sweater shaving done to it, which is fine. I do that all the time. Uh, Knox Rose. Extra small. Not the best size, but I love the print on this. It's an open front waterfall cardigan. With the coolest, I'll still call it, I think, a tribal print, pretty much. Um, it looks much better on the camera than it does in person. It really needs a lot of shaving done to it, but hopefully that'll sell for around... I want to say 25.30. This is, oh, this actually I got for my son. It's a Ralph Lauren sweater cable knit. I probably should sell that, but I think I'm going to give it to my oldest. We'll see. <laughs> this is Made and Loved Loft. It's a pair of distressed jeans. They're distressed on the bottom too. Size... 27, which is four. They're a high waist skinny jean. I do sell more of those flared jeans that everybody has been saying are coming back in, but I still sell a ton of skinny jeans too, so I'm not really worried about it. People saying that it's going out. These are field and stream pants. I'm going to try to look up more about these because I'm not quite sure if they're just like a fishing pant. They're not lined with mesh or anything. 
or if they're just, you know, hiking windbreaker type pants. I don't know. Anything outdoorsy like that does pretty well for me. This is kind of a weird pickup, but it was at the bins. I shouldn't have grabbed it probably. Oh, well. Uh, Under Armour, just like a basic shirt. Won't sell for much, but sportswear like that pretty much, or sells pretty quick for me. Another brand I don't know is called Royal Scott, but this is a 100% wool cable knit sweater vest. Size large, obviously men's. <laughs> um, cable knit, all wool, pretty much always pick that up regardless of the brand. <laughs> oh, our family is a Bills family, and this is, I finally, I found one for my daughter last week at the Benz, and now I found one for my third son, or second son. <laughs> More kids' pants. By the time I'm done going to the bins, um, I won't even ever be done. But, you know, within like a month, they're going to have like a whole new wardrobe with me going there all the time now. <laughs> um, these are 7, size 10. They're like an olive green pants. They're pretty, they look pretty brand new to me. Um, probably not the greatest pickup, but I got few other pairs of sevens. I might even try to lot them if they're the same size. A uh, pair of shorts for my son. Hopefully that's all the kids' clothes. I think it is. This one has an area that is repaired, but I wanted to research more about it and see. Because if you wore it open, you wouldn't be able to see where it's repaired. And that is right here. Um, I just wanted to research the brand a little bit more. I couldn't find much about it in there. But it is made in Paris, um, and it's wool, so I'm just going to check it out. I got like five or six of these, and if they're the same size, again, I might lot them. I'm going to research to see if that's a good plan. They're Victoria's Secret bras. I like picking up bras like that at the bins if they're in good shape because they're so cheap. They're so, so cheap. These are for my husband. Uh, so cheap and Victoria's Secret sells well. Another Victoria's Secret bra. They are all very basic and that's one reason I want to lot them. This is Express. Size small. And it's this nice little novelty type heart. Cheetah print heart. And this is also a wool blend I believe. Let me see what it's made out of. Yep, wool and then there's some mohair in there too. Along with a few other lesser materials, but I don't just grab anything that's express, but if it has significant materials in it or it's a really nice style, then I'll grab it. This is a bodysuit with like a corset. It's Bailey or Bali or however you pronounce that. Well, the one strap fell off in there. It's convertible, so it can be strapless. It's got like a corset and a bodysuit in there. got like a floral pretty embroidered print those bodysuits I looked them up I haven't done a ton of research yet I'm thinking they'll sell for like 25 30 bucks we'll see another Victoria's Secret bra I'm pretty sure they're all the same size it was in like a bin with a maternity a lot of maternity stuff I'm wondering if somebody didn't have a baby and have to get new bras <laughs> this is a Rothschild wool coat. It's girl size, but I actually looked it up and their kid stuff is doing really well. And it is so cute. I really like it. I would probably, if my daughter could fit this, if she was bigger, I would keep this for her. It's got shoulder pads in it. Very classic fur trim. Well, fake fur trim. Um, they'll sell for like 40, 50 bucks uh, if my comps were right. I mean, I still have to do more, but Then there's this. This brand I do, do not pick up all the time, but this is a wool coat. Well, wool shell coat, I should say. And, oh, see, see, see? And, of course, it had to be something super heavy. Look at this. <laughs> there's a hole in the lining. I don't know if that's even repairable. Anyway, Kelvin Klein wool coat, size 8. I'm going to have to see if I can repair that pocket or not. If I can't, 
Um, I'll just have to, I might list it as is. I can't get this camera. It's belted. And these are actually selling really decently. Ugh. I should have buttoned it, I guess. <laughs> anyway, you get the gist of it. Black wool coat. This is Michael Kors XL. And I got two of these. Well, two Michael Kors XL polos. <laughs> Not the same time. Same color and everything. So that's why I grabbed it. Um, the other one, oh, right here. Oh, uh, no, I'm wrong. This is a large. So now I'm going to have to sell them separate. Oh, well. They're in brand new condition. Um, no issues at all. They're super soft. So I think they'll sell. This is L.L. Bean. This type of uh, shirt has been selling for, through L.L. This type of L.L. Bean shirt has been selling really well for me lately with the seasons changing. It's just like a plaid button up. Not really a fleece or flannel or anything. It's just, just a regular cotton button up. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is kind of a weird piece. I debated on this. It is like a cable knit type of thing, but it's just kind of a vintage look shirt. So I didn't know if I should grab it and I did anyway. We'll see how it does. This is an Eddie Bauer petite medium. Although I really think this is oversized if it's a petite medium. Um, fit and flare, short sleeve, floral dress. It's a, I'd say maxi length, which is what people like right now. Another Eddie Bauer size medium, like a fate, like a distressed faded very lightweight almost actually it is kind of sheer top it's got the peasant type style going for it which is why i picked it up plus it's a little faded so it's distressed this is not something i always pick up it's tail bits but i do pick it up when it's new with tags and has stuff going for it not just like a plain old shirt size 14 and this is a dress that's kind of ruched a little bit in the middle. It is above the knee, I think. Um, but it actually, not saying this is, really means much of anything, retailed at $189. And I see they had marked it down to $93 at one point. So hopefully I could sell it for around, I don't know, $30, $40, somewhere around there. My nail's broken. I don't want to catch anything. These are more seven jeans. These are starlet crop, so they're crop pants size 10. They've got the thick white stitching in them. They don't look cropped, but I'm pretty short, so <laughs> they could be. People like that uh, flat pocket white stitching look. These are J. Crew pants, men's pants. Here's the tag if you didn't. 35 by 32s. Just a basic pair of, I call them straight leg pants. Found two pairs of these. Again, I don't know if they're the same size or not. We'll see. If so, I may lot them. This thing, I'm trying to find the neck hole here. It's a cowl neck. Abercrombie and Fitch. Cowl neck. Chunky knit. Sweater. Size medium. It's got slit sides on it. Needs some shaving for sure. And it is made out of... Acrylic and 20% wool and 8% alpaca. So that's why I grabbed this. 
along with the chunky knit because people like that too. It's in right now. These are Hollister, not a brand of pants I always pick up, but I like the distressed style of these. They are size 30 by 32, skinny stretch. This, I cannot read this brand, and I just grabbed it because Jack Nicholas, Stay Dry. It's a large, like, golf shirt. It's got a little embroidered logo right there and a little polar bear. I'm not familiar with the brand, but I know that this will sell, so I picked it up anyhow. This one I'm kind of sad about. <laughs> um, I noticed it when I got it out of the car. These are Schmidt, Schmidt, however you pronounce it, workwear, and I might still list them. They look like they were in great shape, and somehow, you know, the rush of the bins, I guess, I missed that somebody had cut the bottom hems off. Um, so I might still list them because somebody still might want to wear them, especially if they're just, I mean, they're work pants. So if they're going to get them dirty and ruined anyway, they might not care at all. That brand sells really well for me. I don't think I have anything left that I've ever listed of that brand. And I've had, I don't know, a handful at least of things. So these are not the same size either. I got them in different bins. I thought I thought that they were. Either way, J. Crew boot cut jeans, size 36, 32, men's. Basic jeans. These are Levi Classic Mid-Rise Skinny, size women's 12, jeans. These are pretty basic, um, but this is the newer Levi tag, and at the bins, I'll pick them up. I want to say those sold for about 20 bucks for me consistently. I've actually sold a few of the ones with the newer tag now. This is Banana Republic. I'm really not sure why I grabbed this. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's extra small, so it's not even like a great size. It is cute. It's got this like lace back and lace sleeves. This is a what's the name? Cabernet bodysuit. Again, I have to look up the comps. It's the nude color. This one does not have the corset type thing in it, but either way. This is so cute. I've sold one of these before. Not the same exact thing, but it's a kid's sweater. It's one of those ones you see at, you know, the mall kiosks or flea markets. It's got these cute little embroideries on it. I just love it. And this cute little, the hat has like a little tassel on it. These never have like sizes or what they're made out of, but a lot of them are made out of like alpaca or wool. Oh, I did not see that. This little thing's starting to fall off a little bit. I am doing, I don't know, a while ago I learned how to sew, sort of. And so I could probably put that back on. It'll sit for a long time because I procrastinate with that type of thing, but it is what it is. Another Levi Classic Mid-Rise Skinny, size 12. I think they're the same exact color, so I cannot lot them. These ones have a little bit of fading. I can't tell in this camera right now with the sun right there if it's manufactured or not. These are Lauren Ralph Lauren corduroy black pants, size 6. I've said this before, but Lauren Ralph Lauren does really well for me. I just sold a shirt from them today. It's not like it sells for a ton, but it sells consistently, I guess, for me. So, I'll take it. This brand I don't know much about. I think I've looked it up before, and it's not that great. But these are <laughs> exceptional. It's Appleseeds. 
These are made in the USA wool <laughs> checkered pants. They're like the Christmas checkered green and red. I think that these are going to do really well. And if they don't count very well, I might just keep them for the holiday times for some pajamas. This is Charter Club Petite. Again, not something, no, not a brand I usually pick up. But it does have wool in it. And it is a cute, it's got like a boat neck. Heathered look sweater. Sometimes I get home and I'm like, why did I pick up this brand? <laughs> but it is what it is. I, I list it all. And the stuff that sells surprises me. I mean, really, it's. It's crazy that people avoid certain brands if they have something going for them anyway. If it's wool and it's not the greatest brand, it's still going to sell. I've sold Gap Cashmere for like 30 bucks, so I don't pass much of anything up if it has something, a good style or good materials. This is Jenny Buchanan. This is 35% wool, 4% Angora, and it's got that like Fair Isle print to it which is perfect for this time of year. The sun is making this difficult in this camera. It's very cute, I love it. It's a size medium, women's. This is a Vince Camuto top. That brand sells pretty quick. This will only sell for probably, I don't even know, $10, which I'm, I really need to start getting away from. Um, but this probably costs like literally 30 cents. <laughs> so, and the problem, which I've discussed before, is I can't go to the thrift store every day. I have to drive an hour one way to get to the bins. The other thrift store that's near me is 45 minutes, and it's only one store. There's no other ones to go to around there, so... It gets a little bit hard. It's an Adidas shirt. Ooh, I'm very excited about this one, too. I'm hoping there's no stains. I was, like, praying there wasn't. I didn't see any at the bins when I checked. But you know how that goes. Eileen Fisher. Size medium. And it's just, like, an A-line brown dress very minimal very hippie style and it has at the bottom the hemline is like layered let me see what it's made out of I want to say it's linen but I can't yep it's a hundred percent Irish linen so I have very high hopes for this dress <laughs> um, as long as I don't find any flaws it has a zipper side on it because uh, it's not stretchable material at all These, I think people passed on these because they thought that they were super distressed, but I, I'm pretty sure it's manufactured stress, distressing. These are American Eagle, longer length. I've never seen this tag before. Um, they're distressed hem up here and a distressed hem down there, and even on the pockets is distressed. Um, cargo khaki shorts. These will probably sell for about 25 bucks as long as I don't find any stains that are hidden. These I picked up last minute. I looked up the brand and they were doing pretty well. Um, it's Petal and Pup. U.S. size 4. These were selling for like 30 bucks. There's pants and such. Um, their dresses sell better. But these are cheetah print, which is another great thing about them. They've got this like tie that can go around them. I don't really know what that's attached to. <laughs> I'm going to try to find more about these. Um, trying to find a material tag. I didn't even look. Polyester. I don't know. We'll see. They're cheetah. They're like the parachute type wide pants. So I'm, I have high hopes for them. I think they'll do fine. This is 41 Hawthorne, size small, it's almost like a waffle type fit and flare shorter dress, so 
like pleated at the bottom there. Zipper back. Ooh, I was excited about this too. These are Lucky Brand size 8. They're Velour. I don't know if you can tell on this camera right now with the sun. There you go. <laughs> velour floral print pants. Pretty awesome. This is another pair of J. Crew pants. Oh, see, these are the same size as the first one. So I didn't know I found three pairs. I thought it was only two. Size 35, 32. So if they're not the same color, I will probably lot those. They're both straight leg in the same size. This is Redhead brand. Again, not the greatest, but this style of shorts, um, outdoorsy type hiking shorts, sell really well. Probably get about 15 for those, maybe. This was a very pleasant surprise <laughs> with how much these sell for. These are Spanx. Sorry about my awful nails and nail polish. Size small. And they are like faux leather leggings. And these have an awesome sell-through rate, and they're selling for like 30 bucks on eBay. So... I have a friend that went to the bins with me who is brand new to all of this and she was very surprised about those. <laughs> As was I. I usually pass on that brand but I had saw in a video that that faux leather type stuff was doing really well. This is Paul Costello. Never heard of them. It's all wool, medium size, mock neck sweater. Perfect for this time of year like a waffle knit. Another Victoria's Secret bra. Pretty sure they're all the same size. What are these? Oh, American Eagle jeans. I didn't check these over very well, I don't think. <laughs> anyway, men's American Eagle jeans, just basic ones. I don't think they're distressed or anything. You could tell somebody definitely loved them because the bottom is a bit distressed. I think you're probably like 25 for those with the distressing on. I think that is it. So thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to be coming on hopefully Friday with a uh, what sold video. I'm going to try to do a haul video on Tuesday or Wednesday and then a what sold video on Friday or Saturday. So that's the plan. And thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like, share, whatever you want to do. Thank you.